Hello guys, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my channel Learn Oracle. So today we are gonna install our second part of Jasper Report Server uh, or Jasper Report Studio. Uh, we just uh, done first part here, then the we will uh, done second part today. So welcome back all uh, and those who are not still subscribe uh, still not subscribe my channel so uh, i would like to request you please uh, subscribe my channel and stay with me so <coughs> we are just uh, go to jasper report folder uh, where we just uh, download the uh, two software uh, first one is uh, jasper report server so we just uh, install it uh, in first part and then we will install it now so and this is uh, just jasper studio 6.19 uh, just uh, i hit it uh, uh, double click on this button then uh, our jasper studio installation will appear shortly <coughs> just we will uh, hit a license agreement i agree then uh, this uh, i will put it in default location c program files okay i just hit install uh, it's uh, just want space required five five uh, five one four point something push uh, so uh, we will hit it uh, as default so just install button uh, this will not take a lot of time so, so hopefully it will uh, appear shortly uh, at that meantime so we just um, <coughs> discuss some things uh, about Jasper report server so um, uh, in previous video we say that uh, how to log in in this space uh, just again I will show you uh, just uh, put default user Jasper admin then password Jasper admin then hit login so um, there is uh, some panel or options here first of all default option appear here is uh, just uh, it's indicate to root uh, root and uh, reports folder this is the main folder so where we will put uh, each and every reports uh, we design in Jasper studio and uh, we will uh, link URL from Apex or another uh, application that will collect report from this server from here okay in this path we will extend uh, this path and uh, we will see expand after expand we will see uh, there is some uh, uh, data and uh, some adapter uh, sample adapters present here uh, Jasper server will provide some sample here so uh, we will not work with this but uh, if you wish you can uh, see uh, sample tabular reports map report customer report and uh, customer data adapter plus customer data uh, everything from here okay uh, just uh, this is the demo nothing else uh, af after we uh, build some report then we will see that report from here okay this is the samples and uh, nothing else so we will again uh, just uh, click on repository uh, this is where we will find the report directory and under report directory we will find interactive report okay uh, uh, these samples are uh, related to interactive types uh, so if we use our default types or up our uh, default folder we can uh, create add folder here uh, we all know that uh, those who are subscribed to my channel uh, that uh, I have a Apex app called DMS okay so I will uh, put a folder uh, called DMS here okay just add it nothing else uh, after we build uh, report in Jasper report studio then we will put it put our report here and uh, we will call our report from here okay just after uh, completion of our Jasper studio uh, just uh, I will not hit finish button with run tipco Jasper studio. I will uncheck this and uh, mm, because of uh, we will discuss uh, Jasper server panel here then we will see the Jasper uh, studio for our report developments okay I will hit finish only here so uh, just uh, we will finish this portion here then we will uh, go to Jasper studio and uh, we will see how to build a simple reports in Jasper Studio then we will uh, take advanced step to uh, build a more complex report in future okay and then I just uh, go here um, let's see the folder structure first of all uh, this is root uh, cause uh, cause this is the root structure of the um, repository uh, here we will find analysis components this is not uh, record um, now for us then then content files uh, then data source this is the important 
location cost uh, if uh, we some we provide some uh, data connection using Oracle server and Jasper reports uh, that will flash here uh, here also uh, you uh, get another types of uh, connection uh, that uh, we will see later after uh, install or uh, sorry after uh, create our reports okay then image uh, if we um, put some static logo or uh, something in our report uh, then we can put it uh, statically it here and reference it uh, after our report then if we, we if we wish, uh, use uh, some uh, theme then we can choose uh, their default uh, Jasper server uh, themes uh, or uh, we can put our ones here so this is the basically uh, most required uh, folder structure of Jasper server that uh, we we, is we use later in our topics uh, so uh, you should must uh, know or memorize this location okay uh, not all location just uh, there is the data source and uh, reports this is the uh, important part of uh, Jasper report server for uh, running or uh, putting reports here and uh, later call it okay then uh, another uh, things uh, which if we hit a uh, home button then this page is reload nothing else uh, if we use Jasper server pro then uh, the after hitting home button uh, we will see more things because uh, that was uh, they are uh, pro feature uh, so if you don't get it uh, you will not have it okay then uh, just uh, we put on library uh, there uh, we will some uh, library uh, means uh, some reports already placed here uh, reports library nothing else so uh, there is uh, another uh, three thi two things uh, are one thing is search result uh, we can uh, search uh, some uh, result here uh, which is related to our uh, reports uh, that is not important uh, repository we also see that uh, already see that uh, repository what is repository and repository of what we have so then then schedule if we schedule our reports here uh, time to time then we can add uh, repository uh, under repository schedule so we will see it later so uh, message uh, if uh, there are some types of error or not uh, else uh, we will go got that here then uh, we just uh, see another things users roles and server settings so if uh, I if we hit server settings then we can uh, have some settings here so uh, this is uh, really uh, not important for me or us now so it, there are two things uh, import or export I, if we use uh, some data import here you can um, uh, use uh, this portion so just uh, we can skip it now uh, later on uh, tutorial we will see that so this is the uh, mirror, mirror part of uh, Jasper report uh, communication edition server um, so uh, communicative edition server so this is uh, s just simple but if you use uh, pro version then you will got more feature here so we just uh, let it just like this and uh, we just go to the our Jasper report studio uh, that is the main portion of our uh, work environment <coughs> so first of all we just hit uh, tip code Jasper soft studio uh, just double click on it uh, it will take time uh, take time uh, take some times uh, to appear because of I already said that uh, and uh, let's see my PC configuration okay DX D I A Z uh, uh, I just gonna see my uh, uh, hardware specification or uh, let's see what I have so first of all uh, I just use Windows 8.1 64-bit and uh, my RAM amount is almost 8 so uh, if you use uh, less than 8 GB of RAM uh, then you might have a lot of problem also so uh, my processor is not so good uh, because I just use Core i3 so if you use Core i7 or Core i5 uh, then uh, some slow feature uh, will remove for you 
uh, okay uh, now uh, okay we we are have a uh, Jasper report studio so I, I will close it so then I will first of all Jasper report server uh, I just want to uh, display a blank one for you uh, because you're better understanding so I just uh, go to the file then uh, uh, click on new project or Jasper reports uh, so if you use project then it will provide a project for you otherwise uh, if you if you already build a project then you will uh, just hit on Jasper reports okay I just uh, uh, show you the raw thing so I hit on project so uh, what types of project I would like to build so I would like to build a Jasper studio project then Jasper report project okay I, I hit next then uh, my project uh, will be DMS okay this is my project name so I hit uh, finish then uh, nothing appear here uh, so don't need to be frustrated uh, there is another things here just I uh, press file again then new Jasper report then uh, uh, what types of format I would like to select uh, I just uh, uh, see a blank here okay I just uh, select blank one so I press next then uh, in this step uh, all of my project uh, are showing here so I will put uh, I will press DMS and select DMS then I will press next then this is the most important things uh, because of uh, this is called data connection okay so first of all uh, data connection I already made it uh, made one here so uh, I just cancel it and I will first of all I need to show you how to create a data connection okay so I cancel it and then I mean uh, I just uh, select on create adapter so create adapter uh, just create adapter uh, create adapter I will select uh, database JDBC connection okay so I will hit next uh, then uh, I, I will select uh, DMS1 okay DMS one cause uh, I have DMS also already so uh, I will select JDBC driver so uh, now I select Oracle JDBC driver Oracle driver okay I will put Oracle driver uh, otherwise you will get another things uh, just uh, for your better understanding so there's a lot of things you can use MySQL Firebird H2, IBM DB2, lot of types of uh, database connection uh, supported by Tivco Jasper Studio. So you can use uh, reports uh, from that types of database also. MySQL also exists here. So I just uh, click on Oracle JDBC driver, then uh, uh, JDBC URL, URL localhost, then uh, my database connection. So uh, I just go to the uh, go to see the my database uh, SID or something else. Just uh, I click on Toad. Uh, all of you know that uh, those who are <coughs> already subscribed to my channel and my s uh, and also see my previous video, uh, what is Toad and uh, how to connect uh, database using Toad. So uh, uh, though I use uh, DMS, so I select DMS uh, and uh, provide password for DMS schema and uh, connect it so uh, I just uh, connect uh, to my local host uh, schema installed in Oracle 11 Z in my local PC then uh, I will work with this schema and uh, this database so um, I, I again I go to Jasper report server then I provide my database SID so uh, I will put it XE because I use Oracle Database Express Edition uh, that I use uh, this XC okay G this uh, feature this name I just put in my database connection so username uh, I just put my username uh, I just put my 
database username uh, database user password so I just hit finish uh, DMS one is created so um, I just click it and uh, test connection uh, if uh, so we will find uh, we see that uh, there is error here cause a driver cannot f be found by net sf.jasper report server okay I will fix it okay the issue is uh, appear here because of uh, JDBC connection uh, just uh, we just uh, go to googling here o j d b c uh, six uh, driver okay uh, we just uh, search for it and uh, oracle jdbc uh, driver we will find it here so i just uh, download uh, oracle jdbc dr connection driver and uh, already place um, just download it and uh, put it here ojdbc 6 dot jar and copy it copy it uh, and uh, go to local disk c jasper soft jasper server apache tomcat then uh, uh, leave uh, ojdbc so uh, i just put it here nothing else just i put it here uh, then you ne don't need to replace it because uh, i just already placed it that's why it uh, asked me to replace okay then after pressing it uh, i just uh, check my DMS that I refer is uh, working or not. I just try uh, go to driver class path and add this path. I just add it. Uh, local Dixie Jasper soft Jasper server FSC Tomcat. Then uh, leave OJDBC. Okay, I just uh, OJDBC select it and open it. Uh, it's all already open, so I just uh, delete one. Okay, so. Uh, open it and then I hit finish then I again double click on it and uh, click on test then connection is successful so uh, there is no um, problem to get data from DMS adapter so now I just uh, want to make a report uh, again and uh, first uh, uh, first method I tried already then I create on Jasper report and uh, then uh, blank a4 okay uh, or you can select uh, some types of templates here so uh, I would like to uh, show you blank because uh, blank is uh, more important to learn okay then uh, I will hit next then select DMS so ne uh, there is my reports name suppose uh, I put it uh, purse info so purse info I would like to show the personal information of uh, my DMS tables employees okay then I hit next uh, now I select DMS one not DMS okay uh, that one I create recently okay so I hit on DMS one then uh, hit on next then you will see the uh, available database uh, uh, usable database here so I use DMS current so I will go to the uh, database connection uh, and uh, I will go to these tables the here I already have some data so I just uh, put on uh, uh, this button for query so I copy the query then I came here and uh, paste this query so I just put this query here uh, remove this row ID so and uh, I would like to uh, have only uh, this portion of column uh, other side remove it uh, then I will hit next button so uh, my available fields here I just put all of fields here so I hit next again then if uh, I want to group use group by clause then I will select uh, group by column uh, otherwise it's I will let it uh, as usual so then hit the next button again then congratulation uh, it will give me the message uh, I just hit on finish button then uh, you will show that uh, there is uh, a report already appear but without any output because of uh, I just uh, select the empty or blank template that's why uh, 
uh, nothing display here so I will uh, um, complete uh, or uh, in this video here because of third part uh, I would like to see the uh, how to manage uh, this design environment uh, in jazz for studios report so uh, I would like to end this part here uh, and uh, invite uh, cordially request you to join my third part hopefully you will the you will see the how to manage this uh, blank uh, design environment to live environment okay so those who are not subscribed my channel yet uh, I would like to request again please subscribe my channel and uh, uh, stay with me uh, hopefully we'll uh, see the design part in, in later video so at uh, after this thank you so much uh, have a great time and uh, just uh, practice it and uh, we will uh, see you next lesson so thank you so much i will end this video here assalamu alaikum